All right, so in this equation, I have x to the power of 2 over 3 is equal to 16. So my only variable in this equation is x. So that's the variable I'm going to be solving for. And now for my solution. I'm going to first start by rewriting my equation down here so I have more space. I have x to the power of 2 over 3 is equal to 16. And what I'm first going to do is take the power of 3 over 2 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of 2 over 3 to the power of 3 over 2 is equal to 16 to the power of 3 over 2. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So x to the power of 2 over 3 to the power of 3 over 2 is the same thing as x to the power of 2 over 3 times 3 over 2. And this is equal to 16 to the power of 3 over 2. Now, 2 over 3 and 3 over 2, these two are reciprocals, so they simply cancel out, leaving me with x to the power of 1 is equal to 16 to the power of 3 over 2. And x to the power of 1 is the same thing as x, so I get x is equal to 16 to the power of 3 over 2. However, we're not done yet, because we still have to simplify this. 16 to the power of 3 over 2 is the same thing as... 4 squared to the power of 3 over 2. And again, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 4 to the power of 3, and 4 to the power of 3 is equal to 64. So I get x is equal to 64. Now, I'm going to check to see if this is right. So my original equation was x to the power of 2 over 3 is equal to 16. And x is 64. So I get 64 to the power of 2 over 3 is equal to 16. Now 64 is the same thing as 4 to the power of 3. So now I get 4 to the power of 3 to the power of 2 over 3 is equal to 16. Then these two cancel out. So I get 4 squared is equal to 16. And 4 squared is 16, so I guess 16 is equal to 16. All right, so for this video, I'm going to be solving the equation x to the power of 4 is equal to negative 9. So what I'm first going to do is add 9 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get x to the power of 4 plus 9 is equal to 0. Now from here, I can rewrite x to the power of 4 as x squared to the power of 2. And I can rewrite 9 as 3 squared. And if I have something in the form a plus b squared, this is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. And if I have something in the form a squared plus b squared, then this must mean that this is going to equal a plus b squared minus 2ab because this is the same thing as this without the 2ab. So this means that a is equal to x, to the x squared and b is 3. Going back over here, so I get x squared to the power of 2 plus 3 squared is equal to x squared plus 3 squared. And this turns into x squared to the power of 2 plus 3 squared is equal to x squared plus 3 squared minus 2 times x squared times 3 is equal to 0. So now from here, I get x squared plus 3 squared minus 6x squared is equal to 0. And Remember how the square root of 6 squared is equal to 6. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to rewrite this as x squared plus 3 squared minus the square root of 6 x squared is equal to 0. And the reason I did that is because now I can use the property a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, this turns into x squared plus 3 plus the square root of 6x times x squared plus 3 minus the square root of 6x is equal to 0. So this gives me two equations. I have x squared plus 3 plus the square root of 6x is equal to 0, and x squared plus 3 minus the square root of 6x equals 0. So for both of these, because both of these are quadratic equations, you can use the quadratic formula to solve them. So by using the quadratic formula, I'm actually gonna, not going to do that in the video, but you can try that yourself. You should get that x is equal to the square root of 6 times negative 1 plus i over 2. And x is also equal to the square root of 6 times negative 1 minus i over 2. And also, along with this, you should get x is equal to the square root of 6 times i plus 1 over 2. And x is equal to the square root of 6 times i, or sorry, times 1 minus i over 2. So these are your four solutions.